What's your story? In January, and here comes my dog again. Every single time I need to close that door. Shoes. Oh my gosh, Axel. I love you. I love you so much. You are always trying to be center of attention, and you can't. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little bit spontaneous. I really wasn't planning on filming anything today. However, I just received my book of the month subscription and I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of show you guys what I received and also tell you a little bit about book of the month if you don't already know because I did not know anything about this company before the beginning of the year. Uh, and it has become one of my favorite things ever because I receive books right to my front doorstep every single month. I love that. What book of the month is, is it's obviously a book subscription company and they offer premium popular hardcover books that can be delivered right to your front doorstep every single month. It's a great way to build your library if that is something that you are wanting to do or if you're just needing something new to read. If you're kind of in a reading rut and you just need something new to read, book of the month has got your back because their selections are are phenomenal. Every single month, I have not found a month where there wasn't something amazeballs on their list of books to choose from for your book of the month. So if you want to check it out, it is bookofthemonth.com. I believe that for the month of May, you can get your first book for $9.99. There's a coupon code on the website. I'm not completely sure what it is for this month, but I believe that you can get your first book for $9.99. So yeah, go check it out. If you just, it's a great way to, to put some more books in your arsenal and who doesn't like that and who doesn't want to get books delivered right to their doorstep every single month. It's so awesome. So anyway, let me show you really quick what I got. So this is my book of the month, Breathless. And I have to be honest, I didn't even read anything about this book. Um, I just like the cover and that's why I chose it because I mean it says it's a thriller on there and I can kind of tell I mean just by the cover that there's going to be some you know killing and shit going on but yeah I, I have to like the cover if I like the cover I'm probably going to buy the book and all it says on the inside I mean there's a big like I'm not going to read all of it but it says there's a killer on the mountain. I mean, that's all I need to know. There's a killer on the mountain. Sounds like it's going to be an isolated thriller. That's one of my faves. I love that type of book um, where, you know, people are stuck and can't get out somewhere and there's a killer amongst them, like taking everybody out one by one. I love that. Uh, but yeah, so that is my book of the month pick right there. And I also added on a couple books and I don't know much about this one either. It is We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. Um, again, I do like this cover and it just says a backpacking trip has deadly consequences. Um, it's these two girls go backpacking, people die, and that's pretty much all I know. But I, I feel like I'm invested already because of that. Murder, mayhem, death, it's always a good time. So my last one that I got is The Cartographers. This has actually been in my cart for a while. And really, the only reason I got this book is it's a mystery. It's a mystery too, but I love maps. Like I'm obsessed, obsessed with maps. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I just love traveling so much, but this book intrigued me because it is about a map. It's about a strange map. It says, a highly imaginative thriller about a young woman who discovers a strange map in her deceased father's belongings holds an incredibly deadly secret, one that will lead her on an extraordinary adventure and to the truth about her family's dark history. Like, I'm invested in this one already too because maps and I just love the cover. Again, I love the cover. I was drawn in by the cover and maps. So yeah. So anyway, that is what I got from Book of the Month. Like I said, it's a great way to build your library. That's what I'm doing. Oh, and I've got to tell you, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was just looking at my books all stacked along the wall here. I'm getting bookshelves next week. They're coming and I'm so excited. I'm going to be filming it. I cannot wait to get all of my books off of the floor, stacked up against the wall. And I know I've got some here on this tiny little bookshelf behind me, but I'm going to use that for the boys books after I get my books off of there and onto real like adult bookshelves. I, I feel like such a grown up now and it's gonna be so pretty it's gonna be so cool i can't wait to get it set up and i'm gonna film the whole thing so anyway so that's gonna be happening next week um but yeah book of the month check it out it's so amazing 
Who doesn't want to get books delivered to their doorstep every single month? I do. I would like to get books delivered to my doorstep every single day. Like I said, my husband might not like that, but I'm I'm there. I'm totally there. And one more thing before I forget, staring me in the face. This book is one that I picked for the month of May on my TBR list and I just finished reading it last night. So awesome. I give it four stars. The only reason I gave it four stars is just because I listened to the audiobook along with it as I was reading because sometimes I do that. It just helps me get through the book faster if I'm just like driving in the car, if I'm like doing stuff around the house. I like listening to the audiobook too. And I didn't like the narrator all that much. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't like cringe worthy or anything. I just didn't like the narrator all that much. But the book itself, so good. Page Turner, the plot was awesome, the characters were awesome. And yeah, highly recommend this one. So now I'm reading Blindsided by Karen Slaughter and The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. I'm kind of reading those at the same time. I read The Big Leap in the mornings uh, because I don't want to read about death and gore and blood and all that stuff like right when I wake up, you know, call me crazy. But I read that in the mornings and then I read Blindsided throughout the day and it's really good. I'm already on chapter six, so I can't wait to update you guys on that one. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!